Good morning, Guns America. Today on Gun Review Monday, we're going to look at a Sabati rifle chambered in 308. A Sabati may not be a rifle brand that you've heard of. It's an Italian firearms company. It's actually been around for a very long time. It just hasn't been that available here. <clears throat> These are now being brought in by the Italian Firearms Group. All right, so again, bringing some Italian heritage to the U.S. market. Let's set this case aside. Now the model we got, as you can tell, is definitely not thin. All right, it's got a bull barrel on it, all right, and a large target-style scope to it. All right, still overall, you know, it's not terribly heavy, but probably not something you want to walk the mountains with. Action is very smooth. Ooh. Out of the box trigger pull. We're going to check that one. Two point four five pounds. So that's uh, wow. Out of the out of the box, that's pretty incredible. So let's take a look at some of the uh, detail specs on this, and then we'll move out to the range and get our shooting done. All right, starting with the stock, we've actually got a flat base on the back of this, which makes sense if you're trying to set your rifle on something to, uh, to help hold it up, and make it stable. That's a good place to start. All right, got QD sling attachment points, both sides, multiple points. All right. I like this as well. All right, I got an adjustable cheek piece in the back here, which offers pretty fine adjustment. All right, as well as two locking screws. All right, to take any and all wobble out of that adjustable cheek piece. So you get a little bit of movement without those. Crank down, not going anywhere. The grip area comes with a pebble-like texture to it, which is actually you know pretty handy. All right, the the fore end of the gun is. Like I said, it's on the bigger side, all right, but it does at least give you some good purchase for uh, you know, using a support or if you got a free hand rifle. The action is nice and smooth. All right, got a two position safety with a white dot for safe, red dot for fire. Trigger, as we've covered, is pretty amazing. I right, also like the oversized bolt handle on this one. All right, you can really tell when we get down and start trying to throw them quickly. That's going to be an asset. Picatinny rail on top, and as I said, thicker profile on the barrel. All right, but for you know accuracy, that's kind of what we're looking for. I like this too. Threaded from the factory for suppressors or muzzle brakes, depending on what your flavor is. I right, also like this. Comes out of the box with a Picatinny rail section, which seems to be aluminum instead of plastic. All right, already screwed into the bottom, bottom of the gun, ready to go. So you're ready to rock and roll for your bipods. All right, the magazine is plastic, but it's made by a company called Victrix, which you may know is kind of a, a well, very well known Italian gun company now. All right, so they've they've outsourced the magazines, all right, but to a, a solid company. Now, this part I thought was kind of different. This is uh, different than most of the bolt actions that I see. The magazine release is actually right below the trigger guard. It's big enough that it's actually very easy to use. All right, so no need to hunt and pack for your mag release. All right, it's in a different spot than most of us are used to, All right, but it is a nice size. Now, the biggest thing about the barrel is something we can't see on the gun. But the body was cool enough to send us a barrel section. The biggest claim to fame from Sabati is what they call multi-radial rifle, which they say is the greatest advance in, in rifling in the last hundred years. All right, now I had to bring the camera in super close for this. Hopefully this still picks up on camera. But basically what multi-radial rifling means is there's not traditional lance and grooves. There's kind of a rounded golf ball textured cuts in here all right, that act as the rifling. All right, this is also supposed to give you a higher muzzle velocity and less bullet deformation. Now, when I hear things like great improvement in rifling, my first thought is always showing. 
So we're going to go out and we're going to see just what we can do here. All right, first go teaming this up with the uh, Vortex Razor HD Gen 2. All right, so we should have plenty of glass. And we'll slap some Agitech bipods on when we get ready to do the range portion. But let's go see if somebody puts their money where their mouth is. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get this thing zeroed up. Now, because we're looking at a precision gun, we're going to shoot Black Hills Ammunition, which is the gold standard in accuracy. For this, we're shooting a 175 grain tipped Match Kings. All right, so this is respectable. That's a, that actually is a five round group. All right, as you can see, we've got a little bit of clover leaf here and a little bit of clover leaf here, but those were those two were pretty much touching. And that gives us a total center to center of just a smidge over a half inch, which is pretty legit out of a bolt action. All right, uh, cool. All right, so I think we're happy with that. Let's take this thing back and we'll uh, shoot it at some grown up range. Okay, so now we switched over to phone scope view. Now, normally with a 308 gun like this and a bolt action accurate rifle, I would be looking for a thousand yard group. However, our range system is flooded because all the snow melted, so we're actually at about 685, and that's all we can get today. But still, it should be a pretty good test of what a 308 bolt action gun will do. There we go. Hit. Hit. That looked like a hit. Yeah, it is. Good. Alright, so outside of our cider around here, Sabati A in pretty high winds today. And it's hard to tell an exact center to center group on steel. Uh, that's about five and a half. All right, so that's I mean pretty impressive. All right, and I don't doubt that under better uh, better weather conditions, at 685 meters you can shoot a better group out of that. But I'm going to walk away from this pretty impressed. So this is my first go with the uh, the Italian rifles, but I definitely want to try some more, and uh, hopefully sometime in the next couple of months we get one of their 6.5s.